Hello and welcome to the Geek on My Sleeve channel. I'm directly answering a comment. I'd just like to say thank you to the community. Uh, this was a very detailed comment giving me greater context so that I can do my best to help you out. Um, not going to put them on blast here, but you know who you are and thank you. Believe I can help you out here. Alrighty, so brief little context for everybody is let's say you're in a meeting, in a class, whatever, the teacher is talking and you want to think, or well, you've thought of a question. So the premise is you have everything set up, that way you could just mute your mic in the classroom. You could record yourself asking the question so that you don't forget. And then when they call on you, you could just play it and it's you asking the question. So uh, quite a bit of setup here. Uh, as always, links in the description below to anything I talk about, as well as chapter markers or timestamps if you want to jump around and you don't need the full setup. Alrighty, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So now that you've downloaded OBS and VB Cable, we're going to look inside OBS here. And we're primarily going to be focusing on the audio side of things. Um, you can do the webcam and record that as well, but there's an extra step to get that to come through. So we are going to go to Output tab. It's going to be in Simple Mode. Go ahead and change that to Advanced. Then go to Recording. Um, I recommend changing your recording path to a spot that you know where it's going to be for easy access, so you can name it, so on and so forth, as well as utilizing MP4. It is a widely accepted video slash audio format and yeah is going to work with majority of the players uh, we're only utilizing one track and the rest of it doesn't really matter so then you would hit apply we're going to jump over to our audio tab we're going to disable all of the global audio it's normally you have desktop set for default mic set for default but go ahead and disable them because we're going to control it inside our scene. For our filters we're putting on, it's good to have all of this set up. So I put it on fast decay rate, just makes it more accurate, as well as true peak instead of sample peak. And then here's where the magic really happens. Make sure you disable Windows auto ducking or audio ducking and essentially windows audio ducking is it will reduce your monitoring if you're like in a call and the call sound is coming through and we don't want that we want to have control over it and so we're going to set this to our cable input and yeah that's how we're going to get it through to our cable output that we're going to set up Go ahead and hit apply, hit OK. All right, so your scene's going to look a little different. Your audio is going to be in the middle. You're not going to have your stats, but all the same spots or different spot, same stuff. Um, we're in our sources. We're going to click the plus icon, audio input capture, and then name it whatever. I'm just going to name it Mike. Now change it from default to whatever the name of your microphone is. For me, it is the Fi Fine. All right, so we can see me talking there, bar moving. Next, I'm going to add in, this is primarily for the visual side of things. It's not necessary, but I'm gonna add in another one. I'm just gonna enable it, or the add another one i'm just going to name name it cable 
and this is going to be the opposite side of our input or our cable and this is just to make sure that it's going through I already have it set up so normally your cable is not going to be moving yet next we're going to add filters onto our microphone because most of the VoIP or you know Skype, Zoom, Discord, whatever calling services already have a way to auto or adjust your gain and adjust everything else but we want these to sound as similar as possible so if we take full control we can set up our mic which then we're going to loop through and we're going to have our recording with the same filters so it's going to sound the same so we're going to go to filters um, I would highly recommend all three of these you can play around with them just suggestions uh, in OBS they have noise suppression you don't have to do anything other than add it in it is essentially machine learning or AI noise suppression if you have a fan going in the background noise in another room car driving by it doesn't catch everything but it's by far the best noise suppression I've found that doesn't really distort your audio and then after that we're gonna go for a noise gate and a noise gate essentially anything below your noise gate doesn't get picked up so yet again it's it's similar for like all those lower sounds but once your mic is open or once you're you're talking and the gate opens anything in the background is still going to get picked up but not because we have the noise suppression on after that we're going to add a limiter and the limiter controls the top end so Noise suppression is background noise. Noise gate is the lower, quieter sounds. And then limiter is so that you don't blow people's eardrums out, as well as you don't peak so that you, how to best explain it, you don't peak so that the audio doesn't get distorted. And they're pretty good as they are. If you notice that when you're talking, you're getting like cut off in some of your words after a pause i would say reduce your close and your open threshold and that will make it so that it's more so sensitive and that will help Alrighty, so we've got our mic all set up next what we're going to do is get our microphone here to loop through our cable that way when we set up in a video call that's the mic that they're going to hear and it's going to be the same that we're going to record with so you're going to click the cog wheel again advanced properties you're going to find your microphone and you are going to switch it to monitor and output for you leave it on monitor and output um, I've got another instance of OBS going, so I ended up with like an extra loop. And so what that does is as in our settings, we set it up to the cable. The cable is going to go out. So now that we've got that all set up, we need to double check our cable. So you're going to want to set your primary or default sound to your cable and then you're going to opposite click your speaker icon and you're going to go to sounds into recording find your cable output opposite click left click go to prop or sorry right click go to properties go to listen go to listen to this device and then set the device for whatever headset you're utilizing and this is just for monitoring and getting everything set up once you have your volume set the where you like it you can turn this off i like to have it on just so that 
I can monitor my sound as I'm recording, as I'm talking to people, and I can kind of notice the nuances or the changes that happen when you get into other software. Um, but before I guess you actually do that, you should reduce your volume here. Um, I definitely need to put a disclaimer there to reduce your volume first just because I've ear penned a lot of people and I'm sorry, I definitely should start with that. So go ahead and drag this down, reduce it quite a bit, go to listen, set it to your headset. And then as you're talking and you've got your OBS open looping to the front side of your cable, you're in the properties of the output or the back side of your cable you can slowly raise the volume to where you get it at a good level. In the advanced tab, you want to make sure to disable or uncheck allow application to take exclusive control of this device. And essentially what that's going to do is make sure that we have control to make things sound as similar as possible. Um, oftentimes, VoIP or Skype Zoom has a auto gain control and that's good if you're not aware of how far you are from your mic and it will raise or lower it. Uh, we're trying to avoid that. The next big thing is the Hertz. So we've got 48,000 Hertz and this is going to differ for you. Here's how you check. So we've got 48,000, and now I'm gonna go to my microphone that I'm using, go to properties, go to advance, and make sure they match. If your hertz do not match, you will end up with a robot-y, uh, staticky sound, and that's why. Um, took me a little while to figure it out, Typically, when you download the cable, it's pretty good at working with your software and your hardware that you have. Occasionally, you'll get a piece of hardware that defaults or runs initially at a different hertz. Um, go ahead and change that. It doesn't really matter about the bit rate or the channel, but so we're at 48,000 on my microphone that I'm utilizing. And then we double check our cable. Our cable is at 48,000. So that's all good. And now for the demo or the test. Um, I know this is going to sound kind of weird for me because I've got it going and recording. But you would just simply hit, okay, maybe I, I did it. I didn't say it. Um, what I did was here, I unchecked track one for my cable because I don't want to record my cable as well. I just want to record my microphone. I was using that for a visual. So make sure you uncheck track one, or honestly, you could uncheck all of them because you're not currently recording it. And... That's where in our settings, output, recording, we're recording track one. So anything in track one is what's going to be recording. And then for you, this should say monitor and output. I don't have it set because I've got another instance of OBS running right now. But anyway, so we got a question. We're going to mute it in our Discord, Zoom, Skype, whatever. We're gonna hit recording. Oh, so essentially it's saying, hey, you didn't add a video source and that's fine. This is a recording of a sample question that I had and I'll be playing it back and we are going to double check or match up the audio to show how this all works. And I'm gonna hit stop. I'm going to find where it's at. I'm going to open it up. 
This is a recording of a sample question that I had, and I'll be playing it back, and we are going to double check or match up the audio to show how this all works. So there it was. Um, I know it's just a giant black screen. Uh, short version is I use VLC player. You don't have to as long as you have your cable input as your main default sound. The sound that plays on your desktop here is going to loop through your cable. Um, the thing that you have to do as well is inside your application of choice you have to set okay i guess i forgot to show this part might as well so this is discord this is the one that i typically demo things with it's going to be the same in whatever voip voice over ip software you use zoom skype whatever the next new big thing is and input is your microphone and you need to set that to your cable output and then output you need to set to your headset if it's left as a default it's going to play to the cable input and the cable input is going to come out the cable output so the way you don't get a loop is you set output in your software to your headset and uh, final step would be to test it test it with a friend um test it in the software of choice yeah hope hope this helped uh let me know if you have any more comments questions concerns need help um, join us on Discord. I'd be more than happy to walk you through it if I'm available. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye.